Hi, and welcome to Point Made, a new slash comedy site that takes several topics, puts them together to make a point. Boom! Point Made! And today we discuss the fall of Kabul and why the foreign policy debate that didn't happen between Trump and Biden was the most important of them all, evidently. But first! Yeah, um, I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure if you can call it a fall. This thing is just disintegrating. <laughs> Um, I've been watching the, the news feed and it looks like World War Z when they're all like crashing down the street, like just trying to get the hell out. Uh, so it's depressing. You know, it's kind of kind of hard to make humor of this, but I'll try. So follow us on YouTube, follow us on Rumble, and uh, follow us uh, wherever you see us in the streets, I guess. Why not? Total honesty here. This is the second time we're filming this. We actually had a technical difficulty yesterday. And boy, oh boy, what a difference a day makes. This is, we're filming this on the night of the 17th, I August, 2021. My mustache keeps like collecting all the, the stuff I'm drinking out here. It's really <laughs> distracting, but I refuse to shave it. So here we are. Not just talking about that. Re today, they had a national security advisor out there. I think it named John Sullivan. And he was asked, Will the Americans stuck in Afghanistan take priority on getting out of the country? And they said, no, <laughs> not the Americans. That's a bold move. Uh, you know, look, I'm, and I've been pretty, pretty straightforward about this. I think we should help, you know, any of the, uh, you know, interpreters or anyone who's helped us during this war. However, they have to be properly vetted because to be quite honest, not everyone who's worked with us has actually been on our side. There have been a t there have been IEDs and things planted by people who were our allies. But before we do all that, we need to take care of actual American citizens first, right? Like I, I can't believe this is even a debate. Like I can't believe this is even a conversation. Like, are you insane? Like you people voted for these guys. Like, oh my god! Like, what? this is this is loose. This if is you, crazy. If you think the Taliban is gonna mistreat some of these Afghanis, wait till they get their hands on an American. Holy crud! Like if they were trying to get on the plane and there's like, oh, there's no enough room for you. Wait a minute, we'll throw off this soldier. Get out of here. Make room for this Afghan man. I worked at the embassy. You are a paper shredder, let's be honest. Yeah, you, how, how much did you do for me, really? <laughs> get out of here, John. Now, what let, you, let what Alp you, Disease get on here. My name's Ahmed, close enough. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> Alpha been, Bed, get on the plane. You're basically family. <laughs> Give me a hug. However many A's and Q's in your name, get on. <laughs> oh, all right, so just had to get that out of the way. Most of the same thing I've heard all day. So it's kind of hard, I guess, when you're Joe Biden and you're the guy. You're the foreign policy guy. You came in. You were the head of the Senate committee on foreign well, You know, policy. when I thought about this, I'm like, when he was vice president, what big foreign policy victories did they have? Well, Benghazi? Everything. <laughs> ISIS? Well, Benghazi didn't even fall. I mean, we left. After we made a clear statement yeah. <laughs> that men, when we, we, we got through hauling that U.S. ambassador's body out of there, we were ready to leave it. We're about to review the Afghan army, and we should mention that in Benghazi, they didn't have air support. <laughs> Fought for sovereign American territory. Way better than the Afghan army did for their own country. I'm just adding that to the debate. Well, I mean, I don't think those are like your average American soldiers either. Well, if it wasn't for... Obama's administration, there would not be slave markets in Libya. I guess. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing market. <laughs> it's a grow. Yeah. Nothing says capital. So anyway, so, so anyway, keep on. We're going to get to this 15 minutes again. So anyway, so, so yeah, so Biden, debate. Go. All right. Go. So back on October 19th through the 20th of 2020, then President Donald Trump notified publicly the Presidential Debate Commission. Seeing that the second debate was canceled, mostly because of the debate moderator, was caught messaging somebody on how he could screw over Trump in the debate, then claimed his phone was hacked, then the FBI got involved, proved his phone was hacked, which, and that guy was fired. Which right. the fact that so many people in politics and, 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 and news was trying to get rid of Trump should tell you something. So only to be fair to Donald Trump and not help out Joe Biden at all, the presidential debate decided that the third debate, which was going to be on foreign policy, should be canceled 
because now that was the second debate and it should just be a regular debate not to help Joe. Did I mention they weren't trying to help Joe Biden at all? I mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> so, if that debate had happened, would he have been able to tout that he was a foreign policy wizard? No, there's, there's just too many glaring omissions of fact that would just destroy him. Like, I cannot believe, like, what has he been right on? Like, look, 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 I know. You know, sometimes you got to make a hard decision, right? But this has been such a bad withdrawal. He must have been, he must have been somehow impaired before this. <laughs> like, this couldn't have been, like, something that just happened. Like, it was, it's so bad. Like, this is such bad optics for America and bad for our, look, what do they say? Be a, be a good ally and a bad enemy? Now we're bad allies and, 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 and good enemies. We're nice to our foes and we're horrible to our allies. Who the hell is going to work with us in the Middle East now? Anybody? We'll give Iran bags of cash to then funnel to freaking <laughs> Afghanistan and so that, that Al-Qaeda can make more bombs, I'm sure. God, like how would this guy have done it in a debate? What would he, what would he have said? I mean, like I said, if you, if you had seen him, even when he was questioned about the cages, when that came up, who built the cages? Are you doing Who built the cages, Joe? You saw Joe cages. Biden literally try to shrink himself, and I thought he was succeeding. I, I thought he, he was like it. He was like Pittsburgh Steel Co. They, <laughs> they built them. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Dumb, dumbass. <laughs> I don't have I don't have metal pliers at the house. I couldn't make these cages. You see, another lie by Donald Trump. How am I supposed to sniff the children through the cage, Trump? Yeah. <laughs> God bless. So, this has been glaring. It looks worse for Kamala, who so, re who just a few anyone. days ago in an interview said she was the last person in the room with Joe Biden. That she was behind. The withdrawal, and now Wait, God, she was behind it. That, that's what she said. That she like she helped architect the withdrawal. Now this was a few days ago, and I think she was looking at the September. And you 11th. want these people to have trillions of dollars to rebuild the infrastructure? Wow! If they can't even if they can't even move crap from one place to the next in an organized fashion, ugh. dude, she's been totally silent. Dude, she look. You guys, you you people out there who voted for these people, whoever you are, <laughs> this is the, you get the you get the people you vote for, and if you're gonna try to somehow at home convince yourself this is good policy, I mean, good luck. So very quickly, now that we know that Trump would have trounced him, there's no debate in that debate. I mean, Trump would have trounced him on foreign policy. The, what do you think about the shift from? Okay. We're not even going to talk about how we little botched. honey, little honey boo boo would have trounced him. <laughs> what was that girl boo boo? The little, the little big Catch girl. Me out, oh, honey boo. -boo? Yeah, she would have truly <laughs> trounced him. Now that he he's taken, he stepped away from the whole. All right, I'm not going to talk about how I botched that thing. He's like, let's focus on the moment and how to get this right now. Like he is like, well, first get the U.S. citizens out. <laughs> I would start there, seeing how they elected you. I mean, I might. I mean, why not start there, right? I mean, <laughs> just for me. I mean, I think that's what I would. They do. are literally, they're legitimately allowed to send uh, those ballots. Oh God! Maybe that dead Afghan that fell from the plane voted for <laughs> voted for Biden. <laughs> oh God! They found one dead in the land. Man, gear. you know, I, I, uh, make, I make light of it, but you know, I want to say this. How desperate do you have to be to do that? Very desperate. And so anyone out there who thinks America is a bad place, there are people willing to try to fly on the outside of a jet to get here. There are worse places to live, my friends. Stay thirsty. Quite me. And I'm the guy. <laughs>